Okay, hi students. Today we're going to do the 2017 paper, okay, practical paper, where you're supposed, you're given a card, you'll be given a card, and you'll be asked to draw the dimension, okay? So please make sure you use the ruler and measure it accurately. And this is the card that you'll be getting after you cut it out, all right? And after that, you're going to ask, you are asked to measure, okay, a 20 mm from point B, and then you are asked to actually draw eight markings on the line BC. On the line BC, and you are asked to poke the hole. And this is what you will be getting after you have poked the hole. And you are supposed to label one to eight. All right. And please make sure when you measure, eh, when you are labeling the points on the triangle, make sure you label it inside the triangle, or else when you cut, you will not get the points. Okay, you will not get the labeled points. Okay, so if you go to the next page, you realize that they ask you to okay, hang the plumb bob from the pin using the loop. So what you need to do is actually okay, put the cock with the pin horizontally at the retort stand first. You hang the plumb bob and then you suspend your triangle. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do it now. Okay, so instead of using this side. Okay, you should be hanging your plumb bob at this pointed side. Okay, please make sure it's horizontal or else your plumb bob will be slipping down. Okay, align it and make sure that it's horizontal. Okay, what happens if it's not horizontal? Here's my plumb bob. Okay, if it's not horizontal, this is what you're going to see. Okay. Even if it's slightly not horizontal, your line might be, see your plumb bob, it might slip down, okay, if it's not horizontal. So make sure that you position it in a horizontal manner so that it will not slide. Okay, the reason for doing this, okay, for putting your plumb bob here instead of using this side is so that when you actually Put your card you don't have to take out the pin so do it from this side instead of this um, rounded edge right so put your plumb bob first okay here's what you have and start with the number one hole Okay, so take note when you actually suspend your triangular card freely, make sure your plumb bob doesn't hit the stand or this should not be too close to your retort stand as well. Okay, and take note of the okay, take note of the instructions. It says that the card okay, allow the card to rest and the card must not be touching the track. So there should be some space, okay, there should be some space between the thread and the cut. Okay, so only after the bob comes to rest, so means it stopped moving, right? Okay, it should stop moving. You can move the cut a bit closer, okay, to do your marking. Okay, so you're supposed to do a marking here. Okay. And label and label the line one. Okay, this is your marking. Label the line one. Okay, and what do you do for the hole number two? Take the cut out, okay, and put to hole number two. Okay, let it rest with let it suspend first and stop moving. The box should not be moving when you are drawing the marking for number two. Okay, let it come to rest first. Okay, move slightly closer. Okay, and then you do a marking number two. Okay, so you repeat this until you reach hole number eight and join number one hole with your number one marking. You should have eight lines. The, okay, 
okay, the intersection of the lines, the one with the most intersection of the lines, that will be your center of mass, right? Done.